Hey folks, welcome. This is a new bug tutorial and this is going to be a continuation of my previous video about the melody generator. So uh, in this video I want to add a couple of features that made it into the final project that I described. Again, the project was to uh, create a melody generator based on a fixed uh, list of durations and the result would be a bug score. So the new features that I want to add today are um, different rules for certain notes in the score, namely the first note, the first note of the fifth measure, the last note of the fourth measure, and the last note of the score. Let's start using the duration list that I had last time. And uh, we are going to uh, extract the addresses of these values using the back eater object. So the back eater object outputs in this case, um, three numbers because we have the first level would be the voice index, which is the outermost level of parentheses. Then I have uh, another set of parentheses inside, and those are the measures. And then lastly, I have uh, the elements within that level of parentheses, which are the notes within the measure. So if I, have, if I um, check for the address 111, that will be in the first voice, which in this case is the only voice, and then the first measure and the first note of that measure. If I want to check for the first note of the fifth measure, then the th second index will be the measure index, and the first note of that will be uh, the note that I want to check for. And so that's pretty easy. To check the last note of the fourth measure, I have to do something a little more uh, involved, which is, first of all, I don't need, I can get rid of the uh, first um, value, which is my voice index. Like I said, that's always going to be one. And then check for the measure index. So with the back pick, pick here, I'm just checking the first value, which will be the measure, and the second value will be the note within the measure. So if the note um, is equal, if the note index is equal to the length of the, the, that sub list, which is the number of elements within that uh, measure, then that's the note I want. So the last note will be equal to the length of the sub list. I connect the back length um, to the equal sign because that's going to be uh, that could vary based on the number of the um, based on the duration list. So now I can check whether in measure one, in measure four, and measure eight, that note is the last one. I need for the these conditions to be both valid, which is, am I in the fourth measure and is that the last note? Am I in the eighth measure? And is that the last note of that measure? If those checks are true, then I want to trigger different indexes, which will uh, uh, operate a gate. So now the select one will mean that, that those statements are true. And then if I have a gate five, I can have uh, the uh, indexes, the the, the numbers to be to, to open the correct gate. So uh, then I can pass that value on the gate and that's going to be routed to the correct um, rule that I'm going to follow. So if everything is false, then I want this to be routed to just a, the, my uh, generic rule that I had created in the last video, which means um, like the rule that is controlled by the I table. Um, and, um, and, and so when the note is neither the first, the first or the fifth, 
the last of the fourth or the last note of the melody, then I want to go into my um, next note generic rule. While if I hit one of these notes, I can have specific rules for these notes. When none of these are triggered, then the integer box will output a zero. And if, uh, if it's a zero, then um, I can select the gate five, which is my um, generic rule that I've created in the last video. I do need to create a trigger uh, there where I, uh, first of all, send a zero to my integer box. So the second rule is to check whether the uh, melody is going too much in one direction. And in that case, if I want, uh, if, if, it, if that's the case that I want to uh, switch the direction, I want to be able to override that uh, direct direction coin toss. So I'm using a stream three objects, object, and then a uh, ba back x to dx. So the back x to dx uh, takes, takes a list of number and comp computes the delta between all of these numbers. So the difference between the numbers, the incoming numbers, our output uh, as a list. So if I sum uh, those uh, differences uh, with a ZL sum, I, I will have the sum of the accumulated uh, differences of the intervals. So I can do a check of a number and let's start with three. So if the sum is uh, more than, if the sum is more than three or it's less than minus three, then do something. So th the three is the span that I decide and I will uh, attach a number box to that later. But so if it's more than three, then I want to change the direction to go down. And if it's less than minus three, I want to change the direction so that it goes up. So uh, in, and in this case, two happens to be the going down gate uh, while um, one is the going up. So I just need to attach uh, those to the gate um, of the coin toss. So uh, now I have, I need to check uh, for, uh, I need to, check for the interval and that's coming out of that number box over there and then when i do the check i can i can send a bang after uh, because that will need to come in after the gate um, the coin toss has happened and override it in case it's needed and as you can see here now i have a melody direction span tolerance index which will allow me to control uh, for for the uh, variation of the of the melody and if i have higher values the melody will be allowed to go up or down um, while if i have a smaller numbers this will be a more contained sort of melody so um yeah i hope this was um helpful i will uh, post the whole patch which has uh, all of the other rule implementations that I did for this melody generator and um, I will post it on my Patreon uh, where I also have a Discord channel where I answer questions uh, and um, if in case you have projects I uh, help um, I can help you out uh, looking into this kind of issues um, so feel free to check that out uh, and uh, leave comments and likes and uh, until the next time take care